be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and do me a favor. Subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm going to be going over the quickest way to make an Afro trap type beat in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First things were, well, first things first, actually. Um, actually, let's go ahead and work on a little bit of the drums, okay? So I'm going to go with a quick sampler track. We'll create that. I'm going to open it up and we're going to start off with like a basic kick. Okay. To do that, I'm actually going to go over here to my uh, next level drum pack or drum kit here. This, you can actually get this, um, this pack on our site, beatmakingbasics.com. It's only $10 for a limited time. So go to the site. Link is in the bio. But anyway, we've got lots of different sounds here. We've got 808s, stuff like that. But we're going to get a kick. Um, I think, let's see here. So let's start off with this kick right here. And um, this is the type of beat that is going to be, I'm ha I have to do it kind of with my mouth. It, it's, it's an island vibe. So it's like, boom, ch 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 boom. So it's not quite techno, techno or EDM vibe, but it's, it, even though it has like a constant, you know what I'm saying? The kick is going to be constant. So um, let's just go ahead and lay this kick down. The quickest way to do this is actually pull up the scissors and go to the step sequencer. And what we're going to do is just click right here. You know what I'm saying? Just four clicks and you have this beat. Now, if you don't like the kick drum or whatever, we can always swap this out. All right, I like that sound better. Next thing we're going to do is come up with some type of a percussion, a clap or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and create another software instrument track. We're just going to have the uh, quick sampler and then I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to find um, something that will work well for a clap or something. So I'm going to pull this up. We got a next level drum pack here. We'll go to claps. Let's say what this sounds like. So that's kind of the pattern here. Um, it might actually be easier to just uh, play that pattern in. So that's how it's going to go. So let's go ahead and start this off. So cool thing about this is you don't have to sit there and try to play it all the way through. This is good enough. I can just go ahead and quantize this. And then uh, what I'll do is just write uh click on it and then push command R and that's just going to double it like that. Command J to join it. Now let's listen to it. All right, cool. So as you can see here, since we just played it, instead of like drawing it in, you have a little bit of nuances that we need to uh, the, the, the change here. One is on the velocity. This one is a little too high right here. And same thing with this one. Also, these longer notes, we can make these a little shorter. There you go. This is a little shorter. All right, bet. So we have that. Next thing you're going to want to do is bring in some shakers. Okay, let's just do it real quick. And to bring in those shakers, I'm actually going to go over here to our, our our loops. And if you type in shaker right here, you can find some dope shakers. I was kind of like, that might be, that might work well. Let's just put something like that in here. It's pretty simple. Let's listen to it now. Sounds a little off. We might have to move this around some. Let's do it like that. Okay, if it doesn't work, that's cool. You can just find another one that does. Let's 
put that one in here, and then I'm just gonna push Command R a couple times, and join that dude. Let's see how that sounds now. Cool. So we have that going right now. It doesn't sound like too much, but once we start adding some melodies and stuff like that, it's really going to, you know, liven this beat up. So let's start working on like an, a, a bass pattern. So we'll go over here to alchemy um, since everybody has that. We'll pull this up and I'm just going to go ahead and type on bass. OK, and you can also do like urban and it can pull up some pretty good bases or you can even do house or some of these other um, uh, genres here. So. Um, I'm going to stick with this urban right here. We'll see what we come up with. All right, so that's definitely not it. Alchemy, honestly, might not be the best option for this. So instead, um, let me just start off with just a default patch. Don't sleep on the default patches. Uh, they have a lot of dope, like solid sounds, like piano sounds and even bass sounds in the default patch. So we'll start off with something like this. So like, we'll just start off with a simple pattern. I'm just gonna show you this. So I'm literally just going down a couple of notes. So we might start off lower. So let's go ahead and um, lay that down. Okay, that's too low. So. Something simple like that, um, as far as the bass line, we'll quantize it, and let's listen to what we got now. Now, as you can see, when we started adding like some more melody and stuff like that, like it's starting to come alive a little bit more. So let's go add, ahead and add some accent melody pieces to this actual bass instrument. We'll keep with this default patch, okay? And we could actually even start with uh, actually this classic electric piano. And the cool thing is, like as far as building chords, all you could do, if you just drag this down here, just push a hold down option, drag this down here, you have the root note right here to your chords. So all you had to do is now build the chords. You can just click on it and just drag it up. Cool. So we got the chords, but then we're going to need to actually transpose and move them up uh, an octave. So now let's listen to the beat now. Okay, I did a little EQ here. Now let's just keep on going. Um, one thing that you can add to like a Afro trap type beat is um, like, see, if you go to these mallets, you have a lot of good, um, you know, vibes here. So we got this vibraphone.
to create some type of like accent melody right here. Just freestyle it. You could draw these in too if you don't know how to play or, or even kind of mess with the piano like that. Um, we'll go over here, swing A. Cool. So next thing you could do is go ahead and go back to a default patch and you're going to go ahead and find like a good pad. You could just search your sounds and you can find like a good pad. And you're going to take this piano, uh, these piano chords, hold down option and drag it down here. So now that you have that, we can probably add one more sound and it really would be, be pretty much done on this. I will go back over here to the mallet and maybe go with uh, this uh, marimba, mar marimba. Let me see here. All right, cool. And so all you're going to be doing now is breaking these chords up. These same chords that we were playing right here, you're just going to, you know, make them more of a staccato. So instead of holding them down like this, all right. And the cool thing too is once you got this beat done, you can always come back to this beat and play around with the different uh, drum sounds, play around with the different, you know, instrument sounds. So like maybe this clap might not be the best uh, clap for this. Like we can come in here and maybe swap this out with a different clap. And I actually like that a little bit better um, as far as with this beat. So. Just some little tips on how to make an Afro trap type beat in Logic Pro 10. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasses.com. If you need further training like this, we have full video courses. And when I say full, I mean that these courses, each one has about, you know, several hours of content, dedicated content. And a lot of the content is all exclusive. So meaning it's not going to be the same content that you see here on YouTube. It's going to actually take some more time and, you know, break things down a little bit more thoroughly. And so make sure you grab, uh, you know, a course on, on our site if you need it. Everything is priced pretty accordingly, you know what I'm saying, just to kind of help everybody out. Um, we have loot packs on there as well. Uh, make sure you also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, just go ahead and throw those in the comment section below as well. I do respond to the comments and I do take into consideration all of your suggestions for this channel, okay? Because this channel is actually for you. You know what I'm saying? This is all about y'all. It's all about trying to help y'all, um, you know, take your beast to the next level. So anyway, appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.